Hey, how's it going, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Molten Mondays. And it's me, Farmer Jay, back from my boy Blue. And today we're going to do some powders from Jimmy Pickles. Y'all know the man, Jim Morrow, jppepperseeds.com. Isolated seeds. Now, he spends a lot of money every year fully isolating his pepper plants. So everything that you get from him grows 100% true. And that isolation nets are 99% effective. So if you buy seeds from Jimmy Pickles, you can guarantee your seeds are going to grow true. Well, he sent us some uh, powders that we're going to review for him today. Uh, I'm going to be doing the fish pepper, along with the seven pot Lucy, and the caramel ghost. And I'll let Blue tell you what he's going to do. Today, I think I wanted to try the brown jalapeno, the chocolate pimentale, and Rainforest. Now, I can tell you, uh, David, the chocolate primo tally is going to be uh, Jimmy Pickles exclusive. Uh, if everything goes right, right with this grow, grow this year, it's going to be an exclusive from Jimmy Pickles. You're going to only be able to get the chocolate, chocolate primo tally seeds from him. So, cross your fingers for that. Also, to throw another couple exclusives out, Jimmy Pickles is also going to have the gigantic SRP. If you don't know what the SRP is, Sugar Rush Peach. Now, I believe he got the seeds originally from Chris Fowler and grew them bigger and bigger and bigger and kept on using those seeds every year to grow a gigantic SRP. Also, another exclusive Jimmy's going to have is the Seven Pot Pickle. Now, I don't know the exact lineage on that, but we're going to see. So, like I said, if everything goes good with his grow this year, which I have a lot of confidence, Jimmy, then it looks like he's probably going to release those this year. Well, uh, do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I'll say you go first. All right. Now, if you remember last week, I told y'all we were going to do a little bit of drawing. So before I start burning, remember that I did some stickers. So before the video started, we typed in the random number generator, and the winner number is going to be 135. So whoever was closest, I'm going to go back to last week's video, pull the winner. All right. So I'm going to go first. Yep, which one do right. start with? We're going to start with the fish pepper. All right, and actually, hold on a second. I'm going to show you all something. And I'm going to give a brief description of what this pepper is as he's doing it. So y'all bear with me as he's getting this. Now, I'm actually growing the fish peppers myself. And uh, these seeds originated from uh, Jimmy Pickles. So here's one. Now these are going to be some crackies I got going. And check this out, guys. Let me tell you how good his seeds are. Absolutely beautiful plants. Get in there. So here's a couple fish peppers. Like I said, I got these seeds from uh, Jim Morrow. Started these January 1st, so they're right at two and a half months old. And they are just absolutely beautiful. So. Can't wait to try them. Yep. Yeah. All right, fish Sorry. pepper. You want to give them a little bit of description? Yes, the fish pepper is a capsicum manum. The heirloom pepper came about the 19th century, originated from Africa. Just pepper recently got a popular in 1995 in the cities of Philadelphia and Baltimore. When unripe, you get two variations. A white pepper with a green stripe and a green pepper with a white stripe. This pepper ripens red, and if you look closely, the stripes bleed through slightly medium heat, very tasty, Super high yields, and in my personal experience, the plants get two to three foot tall max. Now, these descriptions are coming straight off of Jimmy Pickles' website, jppepperseeds.com. When you go to click on the link to buy those seeds, he gives you a brief description. So, it gives you an idea of what you're getting before you buy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this powder. Get on my new fancy spoon. These are actually some spoons I traded for this past week. Uh, they're a mother of pearl spoons, so Billy Nelson, shout out to you. Thank you, sir, for those. Thank you. And here goes the fish pepper. And it says the pepper was also made into a sauce for fish. The sauce was made with unripened peppers to have smoother, less heat taste. Which I'm sure that it's going to be hotter than if it was used to with unripened peppers. You know, I would consider this a very smooth flavor. Uh, not so much floral or fruity. I'd say it's somewhere in between. I'm um, getting a level of heat of maybe a one, maybe two. But if y'all follow me on my YouTube, 
I make bad decisions, so sometimes my tolerance is a little bit different than most. Very, very good. I'm really super excited uh, about these two plants that I've got growing. Uh, man, that is just smooth. I can see how they would say it'd go on fish. And it's a beautiful variegated plant at most. Produce. I was saying that was good that we had those to show as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, moving on, we're going to do the Seven Pot Lucy. I'm growing these as well. They're in my seed starter trays. They're only about that tall right now. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, Jimmy Pickles, I bought, uh, say, 90% of my seeds off of him last year, and I grew 70 plants. And I had 98% germination rates just out of Jimmy Pickles' stuff. So that's awesome, awesome germination rates. Tell us about Seven Pot Lucy. It's a super hot, that's for sure. But uh, it's nice, fruity flavor. Got slight floral undertones, and it's a major, major, major heat. It says, it says mind blowing oxy acetylate acetylene torch heat. The pepper would be great for using sauce and challenges. It's developed by Mark Duran. He made this cross with a Seven Pot Jonah, and he crossed it with a Naga Viper. Her name this pepper after his daughter Lucy. Mark also created the Seven Pot Katie, which is the reverse cross of this named after his other daughter. Beautiful, beautiful. Oop. Let me get a little so, bit of water to clean that palette off so I can give y'all a yeah. review of this. I was originally just gonna do a a couple in each video, but you know, Jimmy was so kind to send us so many that I thought it'd be great just to go ahead and do three apiece. And uh, do the majority of the stuff he sent us. All right, here we go. Seven pot Lucy. Y'all see it on on the spoon there. I'm, I'm not actually, trying to do kill you amount. Yeah. I'm actually going to try this one after. That's super good. I'm getting a a nice super hot. I can definitely taste the naga. That's that's wonderful. Are you gonna try this one as well? I'd like to. Are you gonna try it now or at the end? I'm gonna try it at the end. At the end? Yeah. Guys, so uh, great heat. The heat's not instant on this. Actually, it's just now starting to build just a tab. I didn't do a lot. I would love to sprinkle this on any kind of uh, pasta. A pasta would be, be wonderful. Super good. Um, I'd say a heat level on the amount I did, maybe a three or a four. I'm getting a, a slight tongue tingling, a little bit of watering. Uh, more of a floral than a fruity, definitely. All right, he also sent us, the next one I'm gonna do is Caramel Ghost. Caramel Ghost. I'm kinda of excited about that one too. Yep, I'm growing these as well. Uh, unfortunately, I spent a lot of money with Jimmy Pickles this year and I think I have his whole collection, so I, I have a lot of the seeds. And I'm actually excited to get to try the chocolate because Jared knows that I'm attracted to chocolate peppers for some reason. Mm -hmm. And he said that he'd be willing to let me try this one since this is one that's not been publicly sold or anything yet. So I'm very excited to be able to try this one. Nice. Well, let's tell, tell them about a little bit of Caramel Ghost. The Caramel Ghost is a capsicum chinets. Chinese. This is a caramel version of the ghost pepper. This is a super hot as well, just like the standard red one, but a little bit less heat and a lot more sweet flavor, and it, it produces high yields as well. In other words, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit more fruity as far as your first notes. All right. Caramel ghost. Instant floral, actually. Um, heat, about the same as the Lucy, about a four. Floral taste for sure, just like a, just like a regular ghost would be. I love the color on these, I don't know if y'all can see the picture, I wish I could bring it up. But I love the caramel color on these. Jimmy Pickles, man, he's such an awesome grower. So as far as heat level, what would you? I'd say a little bit more than the Lucy. I would say this was probably about a five. Five? Awesome. Solid five. Awesome. So out of the three, what would you say would be your your number one go-to? Out of the three, 
What, 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 what would you I'd say as far as taste wise, I'd go with the fish pepper. The fish pepper, I really enjoyed the taste. Um, now, if I was going to go for heat and taste, I'd definitely go for the Lucy. I'm, I'm super excited that I'm actually growing all three of these year, this year. I can't wait to try the fish pepper on some uh, fish. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want to go for yours? Yeah, sure. I think you should save that chocolate primo telly. I am. I'm going to. Yeah. I thought about that myself, and uh, you want to want to switch me spots, or you just want to? You want me to read for you? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll read for you. Let's see here. You just take it and put it. Nah, we got it. We're good. I'll I can read it. I got these super awesome glasses. First <laughs> off, I'm gonna do the brown jalapeno. Um, I've got a pretty high tolerance for heat, so I'm gonna start off low and like like Jared said. Kind of go high, and I'm hoping that you know that I don't get a get a good cleanse palette between each each one of these. But this brown jalapeno, opening the bag, you do get the jalapeno smell. But you know, jalapeno is distinct in its smell, especially when you're cutting them or anything else. All right. Well, bear with me. I'm gonna try to read this for you. Brown jalapeno caps coming numb. This is uh, this is a belief accidental cross of ancho mulatto. Crossed with jalapeno from Dr. Peter Merlet, in which I personally obtained the seeds from, and I grew them isolated. Very thick, juicy peppers can get as long as long as gin. I have experienced medium to high yields per plant. I have noticed by the stem, the upper part of the pepper, it'll be a greenish white, and the rest will be green when unripe. Within a few weeks, after maturity size, will start turning brown. Well, that's, that, there you go. There's your brown jalapeno. Well, I love this spoon, David. Okay. Billy, Billy really did this on this. I'm talking about sweet. Got that jalapeno sweetness, first note, right off the bat. If you love jalapenos, you're most definitely going to love this brown jalapeno. Me, myself, I can eat them every day, all day. I love them that much. Um, I just got a new air fryer the other night. First thing I put in it to try, air fryer, jalapenos. You know, what also, David, in this in the super hot world that we're living in nowadays, and that, that we're such a part of, this is amazing. The jalapeno is such a forgotten pepper. It is. It really is. You know, everybody wants the super it's hot. I want know. the Carolina Reaper. Blah 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 blah. The person that says they love the taste of a Carolina Reaper, Dude, this again. compared to a brown jalapeno, Dude, this is this is awesome. You like that, huh? I like that. This is this is really good. Really good. Seriously, y'all, I'm kidding. This is no joke. This is really good. He's going to do another dose. Now, I like another reason I like, you know, these powders from Jimmy. Uh, also, guys, if he does run specials. Well, uh, he'll Man. run them on his website, and he'll run them on Facebook and social media. He gives free powders away with some of his orders. He doesn't sell powders, but he gives them away with his orders. So, you'll catch him every now and then. He's also doing buy one, get one freeze, 20% off, you know. He's always running some kind of special because he's cray cray crazy. But he's <laughs> <Sure, thank you. laughs> getting that one back. No, no, I can't get that one back. We already started the record button. We can't chop that out. No. no. <laughs> All right, my next one. It's gonna be this rainforest right here. All right, rainforest. Uh, Caps come back to him. Uh, this type produces very high yield. Early producer. That grows strong all season. Delicious flavor. Very sweet and unique fruity flavor. Heat level is low. This was originally discovered in the rainforest in Brazil. And Jimmy has noticed that it has been around the spice community, but not tremendously known. So it's been flying under the radar. Now, this smells like it's got a little heat to it. Now, my nose is usually correct when it comes to this kind of stuff, but... There you go. So you all know that I got quite a bit on there. Yeah. jppepperseeds.com guys again that one a little floral that time most definitely the first note was floral I'd say heat level between 1 and 2 right now I can feel it's wanting to climb but it's it's not going anywhere get just a little bit more mm-hmm. yeah it's about 2 about two? Is that yeah. And you said you noticed the floor on the yeah, on the first, Ford? Yeah, the Ford's most definitely floor. Okay. Yeah. I'm 
most definitely. But it's very good tasting pepper. I, I, I don't, yeah, I'd almost like to try that one fresh too. Nice. That's a good, yeah, that would be a good fresh pepper right there as well. Not, not overbearing at all. For you guys that are just beginning to get in this hot stuff, I would say that these are very, very good beginner peppers to, to build your tolerance, to get you, if you're wanting to get into the super hots, these are most definitely, especially the one I just stuck in my pocket. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. So surprised, you know. Anyway, that was that was really good. I would I would I would most definitely say that I, I got stuck at at a two as far as the heat level. The taste the taste was good. It's it's a pepper that, like I said, it, it, if if you're a beginner, it's, it'd be perfect for you. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, the exception to his giving away powders with orders, he also gets free seeds with every order. So say you order a couple packs of seeds, he's gonna throw you a solid bonus in there. You know. So that's actually how I got trapped into growing so many peppers. <laughs> I'll tell you a little back history of uh, how I got growing it, get into it. I did what everybody else does. I went on eBay or Amazon, with, ordered some ghost pepper seeds. They didn't germinate. I joined Pepper Lovers Community, PLC, and uh, asked where a reptile person would buy seeds from. Jimmy Pickles was recommended to me. So, I ordered some seeds from Jimmy Pickles. Well, he threw in some extras. And I was like, well, might as well plant them all. And then the next week, he showcased another one. And I was like, ah, oh, gotta get that one. Guys, by the end of my season last year, I had 70 plants with 27 varieties. I remember trying to get, get it, people to come get them. <laughs> and it was, it was absolutely wild. So, this year, I've almost got the whole Pickles collection. Again, I think I lacked one. I was about to say, I think you got more, don't you? Man, I've, I, it's ridiculous right now. I'm up to 350 varieties. Just in my box over there. So let me just say, the good thing about me and him is the fact that what I'm growing for a beginner, because this is my first year growing with his help, and believe me, I need his help, I feel that I'm doing really good. I'm impatient, but at the same time, <laughs> I get to try these peppers as well. So yeah. I'm very excited. All right, moving on to the one we're most excited about, and I'm, I'm actually going to try this one too with you. And I'm super excited about this release next year. Uh, at the end of this season, this is the Chocolate Primo Tally. Now, the Primo Tally was a cross between the Seven Pot Primo and the Fatale Pepper. Uh, towards the end of the season, I talked to Jimmy, and one of his uh, plants threw a Chocolate Fino. So, that you're going to usually get those uh, color changes in different Finos towards the end of your season. So, towards the end of the season, he got the Chocolate Fino, and now he's growing it out. So... He's going to be a Jimmy Pickles exclusive next year. I'm actually going to get quite a bit this time, so that way I don't... Since you're going to go with me. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. Well, that's and, uh, a lot, David. You're, yeah. you're really wanting to burn, aren't you? Yeah, I want to really... For some reason, the chocolate behind the pepper really intrigues me. So, I'm, I'm very, very excited to try this one. All right. Well, cheers, brother. Cheers. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. Got to be <laughs> fancy. That's about apple on me. Floral. Yeah, most definitely floral. Floral. Um, I'm getting a sweet. Are you getting a sweet at all? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Uh, I'm already burning a little bit. I'm not really raising. Uh, hanging out about a four right now. Three, four, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Real comfortable burn. Real nice and smooth. Great flavor. I was going to water just a little bit. Yeah, I'd say four. My eyes are... That's mm, good. Capsicum chat It's good. Really good. Yeah, that's a good burn, uh, too. That's a good burn. I'm good really burn. super excited about this one, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, most definitely. JPPepperSeeds.com. It's going to be a Jimmy Pickles exclusive this coming season if everything goes right. That's really good. Well, did you did you want to try one of these that? Of mine? I want to try the Lucy. The Lucy, there's Lucy girl. Yeah, I had I wanted the seven pot Lucy, which I'm I'm gonna give it a minute because that burn right there from that pepper in general, that that's that's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Uh, and and I don't want to stress, guys. Uh, Jimmy goes through so much hard work uh, isolating. And being able to claim he's 100% isolated. Now he's only doing USA sales. Uh, he doesn't want to have to deal with the customs. 
and such. And that's understandable. I do understand that too. You know, so USA only. Uh, he 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 hopes to in the future maybe expand. <coughs> But he spends a lot of money getting being completely isolated, so shout out to him on that. Alright, I'm trying this is seven pot. Seven Se- pot Lucy. Seven pot Lucy. So burning from chocolate. It's got a good te- good good almost like floral. Mm-hmm. I can't can't tell from most definitely got the heat too. I'd say my heat my heat's standing about a four right now. Four or five. I'm peeking off the one and now I'm peeking off this one. So bear with me. Yeah. These are uh, most definitely if uh, if you don't have a tolerance, don't jump ship on these just yet. That's most definitely that I got a tear in my left eye right now. <laughs> got a tear bowl. <laughs> I got a tear bowl. Here you wanna see? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but I got two right there, right there, boy. Uh, well, next week Ooh. we're going to be um, doing a couple sauces and a couple powders from my homie Godin Call Day, Irving. We're, uh, and also, we're going to be doing a sauce review uh, from Billy Nelson, the one who sent us these fancy pinky up spoons. And you guys, check these out. Mother of Pearl. I traded him some. Uh, Tinctures for these man. These are these are super fancy. And Jared here was nice enough to get me one too. Yeah, so much appreciated. Yeah, but anyways, uh, thanks for tu- tuning in for another episode of Mol- Molten Mondays. I hope you join us next week. Uh, and if you want anything reviewed, give us a shout. You know, we'll we'll do our best to do a solid on it. And thank you one more time from uh, Jimmy Pickles over at JPPepperSeeds.com. You know, y'all hit him up. Like I said. He runs specials all the time where he gives out free powders and he gets free seeds with every order and great customer service. And another thing I forgot to tell him, guys, no lie. I ordered at 5.30 in the morning one morning after I got up from work. Jimmy Pickles already had gotten my email saying the order was sent in an hour and a half. Guy, he's super fast on shipping. So if you want to get something in the ground, he's your guy to go to. Once again, thank you for turning in another episode of Mondays. And we'll catch you next week.